our friends at D&D Beyond. <laughs> Yes, D and D Beyond, a consistent and amazing sponsor of our show, wants to wants to let you guys know that Morden Kynan's Tomb of Foes is out. It's out. Get, get yours right now on the D and D Beyond website. And to celebrate, I called my old friend Rody Slater. Oh, no. <laughs> ready? So good. Hang ten kahunas in wahines, it's Rody Slater! Duck diving the word from D&D Beyond. Yank that leash and wrap up the Dawn Patrol, cause if a player in your campaign has a master level subscription, any player that owns Mordenkainen's Tomb of Foes can share content with everyone in your party. Frothy, right? Well, kick out your longboard, because... Because... <laughs> You know what, guys? I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, no. I can't. I can't do this. It's not. It's not D and D Beyond. They're a great sponsor. It's. It's me. You know, like. I just felt like, at this point in my career, I'd be doing serious <laughs> shit, like Ibsen or O'Neill. Yeah, it's a scaling twist. But I'm like. I'm doing this shitty Keanu Reeves voice <laughs> and writing crappy sitcom catchphrases. No offense, Ashley, and <laughs> like, okay. you know, this stuff's gonna live on the internet forever. Yeah. And yeah. my kids are gonna watch this and be like, wow, your dad was a loser, you know? It's, yeah, that's what I, we think. I just feel like yeah. there's, They're I can do so them. much more. <laughs> oh, sorry, getting a phone call. This is embarrassing. Hello? Yeah? Uh-huh. Really? Yes, yes, I, I accept. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was my agent. Guys, I booked a two-spot local radio campaign <laughs> for, for Lord of the Wings, that new wing place oh, in Chatsworth. Oh, two so radio spots. Oh. I'm a real actor again. I'm back. All right, where was I? <laughs> so wax down your, that twin fin and pull a thruster on an epic left, because D&D &D Beyond is righteous. Bonsai! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What a oh, crazy yeah. turn. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, but bring us into our first announcements tonight. We have our fantastic returning partner in crime for this campaign thus far. Our sponsor, D and D Beyond. Set. D and D Beyond, everyone. Yeah, there's an animated thing that if you haven't seen, you should check out. Uh, yeah. um, that's pretty cool. As announced during the stream of many eyes this past weekend, new adventures: Waterdeep Dragon Heist and Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage are now available. Oops. On Laura's phone <laughs> uh, for pre-order on D Empress and D Beyond. Fun note to that, actually, too. The uh, the Dragon Heist adventure. I was one of the story and creative consultants on oh. for that book. Oh. So, so I, I got, I got to put story a little bit every now and then. But I got to put a little bit of my flavor on there. Uh, so many great people put it together. I was just happy to be even a part of it. So wow. I like how none of us knew that. <laughs> great friends, guys. It's really. Uh, Congrats. Just exemplifies a relationship. <laughs> check out the <laughs> check out the D and D Beyond Marketplace now to learn more and order now. And the, the great thing about D and D Beyond, guys, <laughs> is that it simplifies managing your stats and inventory, so you can just focus on creating, creating new encounters, creating new characters, creating new monsters. And I thought I would inspire our audience by showing them what kind of, uh, some samples of some new monsters that they could create. Now you can use the same old stats, but maybe give them a little new spin or a new flair. And to help, uh, I made some artistic uh, interpretations of some of my new monsters. So okay. some new monsters you can create. You guys have all heard of a boulette? Yes. Mm -hmm. We fought them? Yes. Well, this bullet. is a bullet. <laughs> it's a female bullet. Wow. <laughs> you can tell because it's pink. <laughs> wow. Did you out a picture of a bullet? Yeah, I printed out a picture of a bullet and I colored it in pink. It looks like uh, a bloody bullet. <laughs> and it only fires once, so it's a it's a very quick encounter. Oh. Okay. Uh, you've heard of a displacer beast? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. This is a despacito beast. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the same thing as a displacer beast, except you hear. <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> 
Terrible. They'll actually go invisible, though. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Which is a problem because it blows the invisibility. Here's the thing. Yeah. Do children draw these? No, I drew you? these. I drew wow. these. <laughs> uh, you guys have heard of an owl bear. Oh, no. Well, what about putting a little creative spin on it and making it? A bowel bear. Oh. It just has it has crippling oh, IBS. No. Oh, there's more guys. It could also be like a Froyo factory. I mean, that's yeah, not. It has a shit spray attack. <laughs> um, here's here's what I'm pretty proud of. You guys, uh, there's a monster in the manual called the giant wasp. Yeah. Well, this is the giant wasp, but he's a white Anglo-Saxon person. <laughs> A wasp! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a waspy yeah, guy! Are you even he's a, he's a wasp! Yeah, okay. <laughs> God, Is that what the P stands for? Yeah! yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's... Uh, it's not true? No, no. no. I don't know. I don't know. feel like you're reaching. Okay, there's two more! Oh, oh Jesus. God, yeah, no. stop. I can't believe everything you read on the internet, man. Uh, okay, so there's two more. This is a bone dirt devil. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bone devil that cleans up after every fight. Did you draw that one or is it Yeah, I drew that one! Oh God! Last but not least, it's a fanticore. <laughs> it's just a manticore with Fanta as a head. There's a lot of work that went into this. You could tell okay, there are Xerox copies. Like the bone dirt I do, devil. I do. I, I kind of want a fanticore right now. A yeah, fanticore, I'm kind of down with. What, what kind of what flavors does the fanticore come from? Dangerous and well branded. <laughs> Guys, there were more that I didn't even draw. Wow. <laughs> there was the the Lin Manuel Miranda Bolith. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Nick Frost giant. Oh, oh my God. God. He always has Simon Pegg with yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Check some, out more on my website. <laughs> save, save those for the next Sam Regal bundle you can buy on D&D Beyond six months from now. I'm pretty sure the only monster here is you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, D&D Beyond. <laughs> Sam, if you want to take it away. I will indeed. <clears throat> Uh, guys, D&D Beyond will be streaming tomorrow, June 15th, live from Origins Game Fair. Uh-oh. I, I've forgotten something in my car. Laura, take over. Uh, no, what is he doing to me? <laughs> from Origins Game Fair! Check out twitch.tv slash D&D Beyond, and not and, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time to catch interviews. It, man. The oh, monthly oh. D&D Beyond. <laughs> What? <laughs> Buenas noches! <laughs> I am the masked vigilante named Storo. I fight injustice and defend the innocent in order to send them to the d and Beyond Storo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Mine is a dangerous cause, filled with scary monsters, vile beasts, devilish devils. All of them can be found in the various monster manuals at the d and Beyond Storo. <laughs> Aha! What is this? It is a generic tablet device <laughs> displaying a handsome array of content and inventory to streamline your tabletop gameplay. Strong. Why, this can only be the infamous handiwork of D&D Beyond. <laughs> With my blade, I cut down on prep time. I slice my physical book collection in half. I slay the enemies of book management, for I am <laughs> click, 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 Storo, and I will never stop fighting until our D&D Beyond contract expires, and then I will stop fighting. <laughs> 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 oh, Who wow. was that masked man? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, guys, what? Did you find what you needed in your car? Yeah, I got, I, you know what? It was right here. It was this thing. announcements. Uh, first and foremost, we have uh, our first sponsor for the evening, our recurring friends at the wondrous D and D Beyond. Sam, you said you were prepared in advance for this one. Yeah, I, uh, well, I was. I was. I've been getting, getting a lot of questions lately about like how do you write these ad things, and I kind of, you know, I make it sound like oh, I just come up with it on the fly. It's not true. I, I spent a lot of time. In fact, I have a file here oh. of rejected ads oh, oh no. oh. that I didn't deem good enough to use mm-hmm. to promote our friends at DND Beyond. DNDBeyond.com. Go there, sign up, use their service like we do. So here's just a few. I'm just going to rifle through my files. 
Okay. This one's terrible. <laughs> um, it's it was a pirate one. I was gonna wear an eye patch and yeah. go ahoy and welcome to D and D Beyond. Uh, <laughs> grab your duffel, set the binnacle, and follow the freebooters to D and D Beyond .com. But it, it didn't make sense. No, yeah, that's terrible. This, is really bad. That's this one was uh, this one was I was gonna do a Travis impression. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bros. How about that Cowboys game, right? When Prescott hit Hearns on that outside post route? Hearns doesn't play for them yet. I, First of <laughs> I nearly spilled my natty light all over my all over my Emmett Smith commemorative Snuggie. <laughs> Man, I love sports. The smell of grass, the sound of marching bands, the sight of 22 men pounding each other for all right. <laughs> Uh, here's an early draft. Too real. Too real. Uh, here's an early draft of the f now famous D and D Beyond jingle. Oh. I went through many oh, no. drafts of the lyrics before I landed on the primo ones that we got. <coughs> oh boy! <clears throat> he got your perfect wizard, his tomes and his supplies, but he burned his entire family to death, and now he's traumatized. <laughs> I thought that was a little too dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this one, what was this one? Our tests indicate that your rash is spread to the groin area. Nope, that's not it. Um, that was a different file. Yeah. Uh, I had this one. This one's really conceptual. Uh, here, I'll do it. Matt. Yes. Matt. Yes. Matt. Yes. Matt. Yes. That's all it says. It's oh, just mad. It's just mad. I just keep going and saying, mad. it wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked. <laughs> this is why it's rejected. <laughs> uh, oh, this one This one is specific. Very, very Tim and Eric of you. I respect that. <laughs> yeah. uh, this one is specific. Uh, we're all excited to meet Laura and Travis's baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I consulted with some computer whizzes. We did some facial recognition to find out what their baby would might look oh, like. Oh no, no! It's Please got, tell me this oh, is true. It's oh, got, no. what did it's you got do? Travis's eyes, Laura's eyebrows, <laughs> and why don't you just feast your eyes? Oh jeez! On this, <laughs> this beauty. That is, I mean, so terrifying. that is some Planet of the Apes. It looks like a Ferengi from Star Trek. Yeah. It, it is definitely idea. your mouth. That's Travis's beard. <laughs> It's like just the chin strap part, though. Oh. That's really a blinket wow. of me. Yeah. Yeah. And then the the other one I, I had, the other one I had was yeah. flowers for you oh. to say sorry for that last bit. Oh. 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 And that we're concludes real. the file. I, that's all I got. The, the other things in here were just were just the pictures that I cut out. <laughs> you guys from. Oh Jesus! Oh. Yeah. Very oh, Joker. Yeah. Oh, I like. That one. That's good. This is the final one. <laughs> so you. there's more rejected ones, but uh, you know, I'll read you those another day. There we go. Bibi! 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 I got my class for tonight. Anthony Kiedis! That's who that picture looked like. I had to remember his name. Show it again! It's Anthony <laughs> Kiedis! Oh. I'm just saying! Yeah. I can, I can see it. <laughs> the flowers are a little more oh. bitter right now. I don't oh, know. Oh, so it is yeah, kind of, no, yeah, it is. Look, 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 look. Yeah, look. that's Anthony Kiedis. Yeah. It really is Anthony no. Kiedis. <laughs> we'll do a side by side. We'll put it on, yeah. we'll put it on Twitter. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll post we'll it later. We'll we'll that mouth was made to. But all of that is to say DD Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. So, uh, a couple things. One, uh, you'll notice that we're we're down two players tonight. Uh, that's because apparently some babies can't wait. Um, so, so there is there is currently a new addition to the Critical Role team right now. More information. Yay! More information will be made available as as yeah, the parents baby. see fit. But um, I'm glad that I worked towards a narrative exit for them that they couldn't be there for. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, we love you, Travis. Super excited. We love you guys we so much. You. Seriously, you're amazing, <laughs> and uh, we look forward to 
to meet in the new one I love very can't soon. Emote. I can't smile. Could, 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 <laughs> just, just saying, they, they could have held the baby five more hours. I feel like I feel like they could have. Just saying, then we could have shared. Uh, we could have shared a birthday. You had yeah. to wait seventy-two it's hours. The best day. It's the best day. So much is going on. Oh. My nephew's here. So many things are happening behind the scenes. It is the best day. <laughs> It's it's great. Great. It's having it's the best <laughs> Um, so, anyway, let's go ahead and get through our announcements real fast. Uh, first and foremost, a uh, big thank you to our uh, returning fantastic sponsors of this campaign, d and Beyond! Woo! Sam, if you don't Beyond. mind. <clears throat> Guys, I didn't know this. The D&D Beyond discount code, 826LA, is still active for the 25% off the Legendary Bundle. I did not know that. It will be expiring soon, so please make sure to check out the Legendary Bundle on the D&D Beyond Marketplace. Also. The site will be undergoing some maintenance tomorrow, Friday morning, starting at 7 a.m. Pacific. For a few hours, the site will be in read-only mode at this time. So, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, also, uh, the product director, Adam Br Bradford, will be hosting a stream at 9 a.m. Pacific during maintenance with some exciting announcements. Oh, that looks great. Oh. Be sure to tune in to twitch.tv slash dndbeyond, not and, to check it all out. Um, and uh, just for my little uh, extra here tonight, not getting lost in the fact that Travis and Laura are having the most a magical day of their lives and Liam is gone, I wanted to pay special tribute to our little Ashley, who's who's leaving us for a while. Yes. I feel like no. she should get some love, too, on her way out the door. <laughs> so I composed a song. Love you, love you. What's happening? <laughs> I composed a song for you in the style of your favorite band, Boys to Men. <clears throat> uh, yes. Ah. How did you know? Yes. How do I say goodbye? Shit. <laughs> to our sweet, innocent harbinger of death, fallen angel. <laughs> On NBC, you play a geek. But you're a real one here with us every week. <laughs> if we get to visit your house, I hope Blind Spot will let you play. <laughs> but until then, I hope Patterson dies every day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, so welcome, glad you guys can join us. Uh, guys, still did the clap thing too much. Um, so, before we jump into tonight's game, let's go ahead and get through our announcements. Uh, first and foremost, our fantastic sponsor for this evening, and has been for quite some time, our friends at D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond! Sam, if you want to take that away. Uh, yes, D&D uh, Beyond wanted to uh, announce that their A26LA donation campaign has officially come to an end, and they've raised $11,400 for A26LA based on 114 natural ones <laughs> rolled through the end of June. We are terrible, but but our bad luck is uh, the kid's good fortune. Um, the main thing that people have been wondering and uh, talking about on, on the, the Facebooks and stuff is the new baby. Travis and Laura aren't here, you guys m might have noticed, and everyone's like, how was, how was the birth? How, how did it all go down two Thursdays oh, no. ago? And so uh, I have taken a little license, but I have scripted a bit of a radio play that we're all going to participate in <laughs> to, to show our viewers how it all went down two Thursdays ago and how the birth came to be. Uh, Talison will be narrating, I will be playing the role of Travis, Marisha will be playing the role of Laura. Sorry, Laura. Liam will be the doctor. A real job, Dad. Uh, and Matt will be uh, a couple different roles, okay. and uh, including Matt Mercer. Oh, and I can probably do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens. This is a first performance of, of its kind. Uh -huh. uh, take it away, Talison. <laughs> exactly two weeks ago at the Willingham House. Babe, can you bring me some <laughs> onion rings and Miller ice with lime? The Cowboys game starts in like six weeks and I want to be ready. <laughs> Darling, something magical is happening. Our boy, the magical light that will illuminate the universe, 
will join us soon. Huh? What, right now? But the cowboys! Travis, dear, your stallion is galloping to Earth. Humanity must welcome him with loving arms. Ugh, I'll get the stupid hospital bag. Later, in the hospital waiting room. <sighs> hey, Matt, heads up, Laura's having that stupid baby. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'll just throw out the next three weeks of story I'd planned out and totally rework everything to accommodate this. I don't need to sleep ever. Cool, cool, bro. Hey, can you also tape the Dallas Cowboys game for me? Meanwhile, inside the delivery room. Okay, Mrs. Willingham. It's Bailey. Oh, right, sorry. Uh, anyway, I have uh, <laughs> checked your charts and you should be in a lot of pain right now. I feel nothing but the sweet nectar of Mother Nature coursing through me. My love radiates like luminescent rainbows that will create a new life this day. Really? Well, uh, you should get ready for a long labor. This one could take up to 36 hours. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> The mortal world has received its divine cherub. What? That's medically impossible! You didn't even push! Does one need push for the summer to shine down its radiance upon us? Huh? No. We merely bask in its glory. Lo, my baby is perfection. Yes, I am perfection. <laughs> Mother, I bring news from the womb. <laughs> the newly revamped digital character sheet for D&D Beyond has released. <laughs> What's been added? Improved desktop and tablet views. Better at-a-glance information. Additional ad-hoc customization. Custom themes, shareable links, and an updated PDF export. To celebrate, D&D Beyond is giving away a complete legendary bundle to a random viewer. To enter to win, go to twitter.com slash D&D Beyond, N, not and, and, uh, and Sybil, and ready to, and reply to the t pinned tweet with a shareable link for one of your D&D Beyond characters. The giveaway ends this Sunday night at midnight p.m. You are a miracle, baby. I love you. I love you, Mama Willingham. It's Bailey. And see. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. That was great. That was theater. That was. In the meantime, let's go and get through some announcements. Yes. First and foremost, we have our fantastic sponsor for the campaign, our friends at D and D Beyond. D and D Beyond, everybody. As mentioned last week, the newly revamped digital character sheet for D and D Beyond has released. With improved desktop and tablet views, better at-a-glance information, all kinds of customization, and an updated PDF export. Ooh, no I'm That's really excited awesome. about that. As you guys all remember, not you, uh, a couple months back, I asked Critters, uh, who you, Critters out there, who use D&D Beyond to write in and tell me about their D&D Beyond experiences. With the studio move and stuff, things got uh, lost. So some of the letters got lost uh, a little bit or misplaced, but we found them. And uh, so I'm going to read you some of the letters from, from the fans. They're from a couple weeks ago. Dear Sam, loving D&D Beyond, just used their easy character creator to roll a brand new character after my favorite PC was tragically killed last week. I'm still really sad about it, but watching your show is taking my mind off the loss. I love how Critical Role doesn't remind me about that death all the time. So again, these are from a few weeks ago, so I haven't... <laughs> Such an asshole. <laughs> Such an asshole. Dear Sam, my whole campaign uses D&D Beyond and their new shareable links really help us play faster. Side note, I love your interactions with Taliesin in this campaign. <laughs> Don't change that dynamic, it's perfect and I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, dear Sam, uh, just signed up, these are from a couple weeks ago. <laughs> that is the premise. <laughs> Dear Sam, you mean just, the truth. <laughs> Dear Sam just signed up for a master level subscription at D&D Beyond, and all their content is so cool. I'm enclosing a photo of a tattoo I just got. It's my first, and I'm very proud, as you can see. That's Knot and Molly Mock dancing together, and I know it's in cursive, so you might not be able to read that they're both saying, we're gonna live forever. <laughs> what do you think? There was a picture included in that For my one. first action, I killed Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and last, last but not least, we got an actual letter from the D&D Beyond Corporation, uh, which also got lost and found. <laughs> it says, Dear Sam, hey, let's refrain, from anything, uh, let's refrain from anything sad or emotional in your ads this week. We want players to associate our app with fun, not intense loss that might trigger feelings of pain or misery. Keep it light! Do one of those dumb songs you write. Oh, and give our love to Taliesin. He's our favorite, and he's the only reason we advertise on your show. 
I could not have planned it because those are from weeks ago, Matt. Uh, yes. I love that you lost the printed out email letters <laughs> in our move. Sponsor and friends at D&D Beyond. Sam. D&D Beyond. Everybody, two new products have been announced on D&D Beyond. The Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica. Uh, alternate title is That's So Ravnica. Available for pre order now on the DD Beyond Marketplace. Officially will be released on November 9th. And also, The Wayfarer's Guide to Eberron. Alternate title The Werfender's Gird to Eberron. <laughs> Available for purchase now on the DD Beyond Marketplace. As a reminder, anyone who already has purchased the Legendary Bundle can pre order or purchase these and any future content at a 15% discount, everyone. Ooh, Ooh. Which is a savings know. baked right in. Um, uh, I've been using D&D Beyond for a while now, and they, they just redid their layout. It took me a while to get used to it. So for those of you at home uh, using D&D Beyond, I've, I have a, like a couple of like tips, pointers for the new layout to remind myself like where, where, oh, no. where things are laid out. Um, so it's like little mnemonics. It's a weird thing. So on the right, you can, on the right side of the screen, you can remember L E F. So right is sort of like left, left sort of, and that's where loot, equipment, and features are. Uh, on the left uh, is uh, I I I A A insight and awareness. So I'll just write that down here. Uh huh. Uh, and then in the middle is ATR, which are things that you can add to roll. A T R. I have a mounting sense of dread. Uh, <laughs> and right up top uh, is M MST. Oh no. Which is which is makes ma makes saving throws. That's what you add to make saving throws. And that's just sort of like just Sam's little guide to uh, to how you how you can remember the layout of D and D Beyond. And that's it. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> I hope that was as useful to you folks as it will never be to any of us. Um, and thank you to Indy Beyond for being our awesome sponsor.